So according to multiple unreliable sources, the Bugatti Devo sucks in Forza Horizon 4. I'm just trying to wrap my head around how people came to that conclusion so quickly, literally within the first day that the Devo was available and able to be won through the festival playlist in Forza Horizon 4. People are already knocking it, trying to auction the car, which at first you could not auction it, but now the car is auctionable. I have still yet to see one. People are saying the thing can't handle, it's not fun to drive, it's just big and bulky, it's ugly. What? What? No, 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 no. The Bugatti Devo is amazing in Forza Horizon 4. I really don't quite understand people's opinions sometimes, especially if you didn't even tune the car? Did you even build the car? Did you give the car a chance? I feel like some people literally just got the car, took it out, drove it, failed to go around one turn because they don't know how to actually corner, and then said the Devo sucks and proceeded to try to auction it. That's legitly what I think happens, and that is certainly not a good way to go about getting new cars that have a lot of potential in Forza Horizon 4. What you're seeing right now is me setting a pretty respectable rival's time with the Bugatti Devo, this is a perfect test track because it has long straightaways, it has high speed cornering, and it also has sections like what you're seeing right now that feel more like a circuit race. So this is just a great overall balanced test track that I always love to bring my cars to. A few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, you remember I tuned my Lamborghini Centenario and put up a very solid time on a few different test tracks with that car. Guess what? The Devo is faster on this particular racetrack than the Lamborghini Centenario, and I know a lot of people loved my Centenario tune, so if you love that one, I think you're gonna love the Devo. This thing is super fast, it's all-wheel drive, and the thing that's interesting about that is it's considered, in this game at least, an extreme track toy. Most extreme track toys stock, like the Apollo, are real-wheel drive. Now, most people just swap them to all-wheel drive, which I personally don't do. I don't like to all-wheel drive swap every single car in the game. I really don't all-wheel drive swap at all unless it's kinda necessary for, say, the trial or other seasonal events where you pretty much need something to complete a challenge or to get progression in the festival playlist. The Bugatti Devo can high-speed corner flawlessly. If you have not tried an, a legitimate tune yet, I highly recommend you try mine and see what you think. Again, you have to know how to drive though. This is an S2 class car. It is pretty damn fast, and if you don't corner right, if you don't know how to angle your turns, you're not going to have success with this car. You will hit into walls, and you will not be able to make it around turns, or you're at least just going to have to go slower until you get a feel for the car. But the Devo does not suck. I want to make sure everyone's aware that the Devo is super competitive in Forza Horizon 4. I currently have the fastest Devo on that particular racetrack that I just shared there, and this is against unbeatable Drivatars. If you think unbeatable Drivatars even have a chance to beat you in this particular Bugatti Devo tune, Wrong. Hell no. Drivatars have no chance. Most of them are going to be real wheel drive, and if they're not, you're still going to be way faster than the Bugatti Diva. This thing is just insane. I love it. And it's not the most beautiful car, I will be honest. I do agree with some people. The front end of the car, to me at least, is not the prettiest. I'd take the Chiron over this any day. But the active aerodynamic wing, the taillights, it's so unique, and to me it's gorgeous. Plus the way that you can paint the car, the different options you have. I like the Devo a lot in Forza Horizon 4, so I want to hear all your opinions in the comments section. I'm hoping I'm going to hear more positive responses than negative ones, because I've been seeing a lot of negative ones, and it's really surprising me that a car of this caliber is going so underappreciated and not getting the respect it deserves here in Forza Horizon 4. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Leave comments sharing all of your thoughts and opinions. I'm out, guys. Peace.